to go. Okay. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. You know how you're always finding better ways to do something? Well, a couple of months ago, I showed you a way to rewind a recoil spring and then use a tie strap to hold it still so you could just lower it down into the equipment. Now, 99% of the time, that works great. But what I ran into was I had a steel with an easy start, and it was about that deep to get the spring down in, and the tie strap was in the way. So I started it for a little while and found a way to improve on the tie strap just a little bit. So let me show you what I've got. This will make your recoil springs a whole lot easier to work with. Okay, now we've all had this, a recoil spring that uncoiled itself. You know, it came out of the little ring or whatever. So I got this little wire, and I don't know where I got the wire itself from. You can see it's a really thin gauge little wire that's pretty stiff. And I figured out the size that I had to go into on my weed eater. And just like we did last time, we put a screw in a piece of wood. And we put our little winder together, which is nothing more than a 5 8 socket bit, where I cut out a little slot, and little slots to fit right here. So anyway, what you want to do is you want to put this up here, and I hold it with the same hand that I'm running the trigger with, because the springs can get pretty gamey. Then we're going to let that catch and wind it up. And now the reason I don't wind these up with anything else is the size of the size of this keeps it from tearing the center of the spring up. Because if you if you overwind them too tight, then you'll mess your spring up. I put the wire on it. Whoops! 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 See, my wire got a little bit outside on that one. It fell below that. There we go. I'm gonna try to get it somewhere in the middle. Okay, that looks good, that looks good. Now keep in mind, this is so easy. If it springs out on you, you can start over again, easy peasy. Okay, now we'll take our spring out. And we got a re recoil spring ready to go in, just that easy. And you can see, there's just nothing to this. And like I said, what I ran into was putting it in with the tie strap. You got the little end of the tie strap that has to stick out someplace. And I even tried turning it around so that it, the end was on the inside here, but it was just too arbitrary to work with. And then when I came up with the idea of the wire, because this is this wire, well, a wire like this is how you usually get them if you're buying them for this unit. And that's just, it's just that easy. And you can see we didn't tear the inside up. So when it lays in, it'll fit correctly and it'll work just like it, like a factory spring does. So I know a couple of you are probably saying there's just no way it's that easy. Or you have somebody that's fumbled around with a spring for a long time. But it really, really is just that easy. It, I've done these 10 times this way. And since I switched off to using a little wire, it's made it even easier than it does with the tie strap. And I don't even know where I got the wire. It was actually in one of the drawers of the toolboxes. And all I did was fit the, figure out the size I wanted it to be and then tied it off with uh, pliers. And it's just that easy. Well, I hope this helps you. And if it does, don't forget to subscribe. We're always looking for new subscribers, and it's free. We'll see you next time.